What's up guys, Vipraft V here, and today I want to talk to you guys about multimeters and smoke stoppers and when you should be using these and when you shouldn't be using them. So, right off the bat, this is a smoke stopper we have from Race Day Quads. I believe it came in one of my quad boxes I had. I do use it, and I'll show you how I use this in a second. Um, we also have this um, AN8008 multimeter, which is actually a really nice multimeter. It comes with a bunch of accessories as well as just the leads. And it's just powered by some uh, AAA batteries. Um, I lost the back to it because I've been using it so much. I dropped it and I can't find it. But and it also comes with a little bag with a whole bunch of stuff in it as well. Um, yeah, it comes with like, a whole bunch of little adapters. And it comes with some extra wiring so you can connect these adapters up. I have those up on my shelf over there. Um, but that's not really what we're talking about right now is what this thing comes with. But what we're going to be talking about is how to properly test out your new build. So you built a brand new quad copper like I did here. And before you hook up a battery and, if God forbid, you had something wired wrong or something's touching the carbon, it will short it out your stack and it'll pretty much destroy your entire build. And you don't want to do that. So what I always go ahead and do when I finish a build, or even when I'm in the progress of doing a build, um, on a multimeter, if you haven't ever used one before, um, this little sign right here, that is going to be for your continuity right there. You see the little um, sound there? And on this one, you can either use it in um, non-sound mode or sound mode. So I'm going to be switching this over to the sound. And so whenever time it makes a, a short, these two touch, it starts beeping. So when you plug it into, what I do is I put it onto the, like you're going to be plugging a battery in, but you're not. You just go ahead. It doesn't matter really what um, way you put it, plus or minus, and you just kind of want to connect it. If you don't hear a beep, that means you're good. If you do hear a beep, that means something is shorted in your quadcopter and you need to go ahead and figure out where it is and fix it. Um, and then you can use this to kind of narrow down where exactly the short is in your quadcopter. Um, so I have the smoke stopper here too, and what I use this for is when I do that, I check the continuity on the XT60, and I don't hear anything, then I'll go ahead and I'll plug in the smoke stopper, and then connect my battery, just for a safeguard, just in case there is maybe a small short in there, um, because sometimes when you're using 5 volt regulators, like when your receiver's connected, or something's connected to the flight controller, and there's a regulator there, it might not tell you there's a short. Um, so this kind of the safeguard guards that and it's not still a hundred percent these things if you're going to be using them a hundred percent I would not recommend doing that because these do not stop enough current when current is flowing to be able to save your electronics So that's why getting a nice decent multimeter. I mean this thing is like 25 bucks This thing is not the top of the line. It's not like a fluke meter, which is like two or three hundred dollars It's twenty four dollars. This is at Banggood. I believe I got this one from and um like I said, it comes with a bunch of accessories. Um, so pretty much what you do is you just, this how this thing works is you just plug it in and then you go ahead and you plug in a battery and it'll light up. And if there's a short, it will actually, you'll, you'll notice because it won't be light, lit up and hopefully it doesn't make any magic smoke coming out of your quadcopter. So that is that, and then using a multimeter is pretty simple as well. Like this one, it has auto range mode. So like say for instance, you don't know what voltage you're going to be running at because a lot of them will have like the, var the variable voltage where you need to have it set so you get the accurate voltage. Like for instance, on this one, you just put it on voltage and then you go ahead and it'll be on auto and then you just go ahead and connect your battery up or plug into a battery for instance this case I'm not even sure how much voltage is in this one um, and then it automatically tells you that it's 11.35 volts is what I'm showing on this one so using a multimeter is really simple I mean don't be scared of it um, I see a lot of guys getting into this hobby and they don't have a multimeter and that's kind of scary because these things are really helpful when trying to figure out problems with your quadcopter um, shorts and especially since you're soldering a lot of things on, a glob of solder can get on anything, and it could be a big deal. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to really talk about today is just multimeters and smoke stoppers, when you should be using them and when you shouldn't be. 
Um, you probably don't even need to get a smoke stopper if you're gonna be using a multimeter exclusively, but if you're kind of worried about maybe something shorting and this thing is not beeping, then you can go ahead and just get one. I think these things are like a few bucks from Race Day Quads. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below, along with this multimeter. This multimeter, I've had this thing for over a year now, and I use this thing exclusively for diagnosing problems and also, like I said, trying to figure out if I did do a short on a quadcopter um, before connecting a battery and destroying your entire $300, $200 build or whatever you're building. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.